Hi guys, Richard from Digital Foundry here with a quick performance test of Forza Motorsport 6, directly compared against its predecessor, which was released almost two years ago alongside the launch of Xbox One. The series is legendary for its locked 60fps, and for those of you that checked out our recent analysis of the FM6 demo, you'll know that the frame rate is just as solid in the new game, despite the addition of wet weather conditions and nighttime driving. In fact, despite the new features and the addition of more ambitiously detailed tracks, the new Forza is actually even more solid than its predecessor. So, looking back, developer Turn 10 deserves kudos for making Forza Motorsport 5 as solid as it was back in the day. The game was in development for at least two years, and for the majority of that time, the studio would have been working with incomplete Xbox One hardware. Indeed, mere months before launch, Microsoft's engineers were still tinkering with the final specs of the machine, upclocking CPU and GPU. So, for Turn 10 to maintain 60fps there on an ever-shifting platform is pretty impressive, but there are occasional moments where the older title failed to hit its render time targets. It's rare that it happens, but it does happen, like this initial racing glitch down to 50fps, accompanied by a steep increase in frame time and some torn frames. It's just a short anomaly, quickly resolved, but one that does highlight that drops can happen and that some kind of adaptive V-Sync strategy is in place on the Forza engine, in the rare eventuality of the render time running over budget. And here's a second, perhaps more explainable FM5 glitch. In this replay section, the game dips under its target 30fps, again accompanied by some tearing and drop frames. Once again, it is momentary, but you can see why it happens. Those smoking tyres use alpha transparency effects, which are really taxing on the Xbox One's GPU. It's interesting to know that in a similar scenario on Forza 6, the alpha is reduced and frame rate hits its target. That said, some of the technological shortcuts Turn 10 used in Forza Motorsport 5 are retained for the sequel. So for example, check out those rear view mirrors at the top there. While the main viewing area runs at a locked 60fps, mirrors do actually run at half the frame rate. Overall then, the bottom line is this. Turn 10 has some of the best rendering techs in the industry and these guys have now had two more years to learn about the Xbox One hardware. Forza 6 looks better overall, has more features and the frame rate is even more solid. In short, from a technological and indeed gameplay perspective, the series continues to impress. Anyway, that's all we've got for you for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like if you did, and subscribe to Digital Foundry to see more. Thanks for watching.